Hey guys. In the last video we have created repeating background. But currently the game doesn't have any obstacles, so the game is not interesting. If we have a look at the sprites folder. We can see there is some images like cactus and crate, we will make obstacles from those images. And then we will place those obstacles in front of the player, so the game will be a little more interesting. So, we will create the first obstacle from the cactus one image. First, we will drag and drop the image onto the hierarchy. We have to change the sorting layer to foreground. Now, we will add a box collider 2D. Unity has different type of colliders for different type of objects. If the object shape is like a box or rectangular, then we should use box collider 2D component. Or if the object is circular, then we should use circle collider 2D, or if you see the object is not like a box or a circle, then you can use polygon collider. But, we shouldn't use polygon collider too much. Because, polygon collider is a very heavy component, which can make the game very laggy. In this game, I have used the polygon collider just for the player. Because, the player will not spawn again and again like grounds, so it shouldn't create much problem. My suggestion is you should always avoid using polygon collider. Now, for the cactus, I have used box collider, because we will make this game object to spawn again and again. So, I will adjust the box collider shape for this object. Okay, this doesn't look so perfect. But, it's enough for this game. Now, we will add a rigid body component. Now, I am going to open the prefabs folder. Here we will drag and drop the cactus one game object from the hierarchy to make a prefab for this game object. Now, we can delete the game object from the hierarchy. Now, we will create another prefab for the cactus too, so drag and drop the image onto the hierarchy. Change the sorting layer to foreground as before. Then we will add a circle collider 2D component, because, the object looks kind of circular I think. Now, I am going to adjust the collider shape. Okay, not so perfect, but good enough for this game. The next thing we are going to need is the rigid body component. Make sure you are adding the rigid body 2D component, because the only rigid body component is for 3D game objects. After that we can make it a prefab. And then delete it from the hierarchy. Now, we will make the last obstacle using the crate. So, I am going to drag and drop it onto the hierarchy, and then change the sorting layer. Now add a box collider 2D component. Because, the crate looks like a box. We need a little bit of adjustment of the collider shape for this box. I suggest, always keep the collider shape a little smaller than the actual object as you can see. Now, I can make it prefab by dragging it onto the prefabs folder. And then we can delete it from the hierarchy. Now, all the prefabs are untagged, if I double click on the cactus one prefab, we can see the object is untagged. So, I am going to click here and select add tag. We will add a tag called obstacle.
Now we can set the obstacle tag for the Cactus 1 prefab. Now, we will set this tag for the other two obstacles. We have set this tag for all the obstacles, so that we can easily detect all the game objects just by calling the obstacle tag inside the script. So, we now have three obstacles for this game. In the next video, we will make spawn those obstacles in front of the player, the player will have to jump over those obstacles without colliding with them. If the player collides with an obstacle, the game will be over. So, this is it for this video and I will see you in the next video.